John Ann Scher. I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and I serve as our Partners for Fish and Wildlife Coordinator for North Carolina. I want to show you a successful native meadow restoration, four years in the making. started, the site was just abandoned agricultural land and included non-native vegetation. It wasn't providing much habitat for our wildlife. Native warm season grasses and the associated wildflowers do. It took a great deal of effort to restore the land to a native meadow, but the Triangle Land Conservancy persisted and were extremely pleased with the results of this collaborative project and TLC is committed to continued management using prescribed fire. The strategy with this restoration has been to uh, allow nature to take its course. So we do a little bit of manipulation through uh, the removal of the trees, through the introducing fire, and through selective herbicide treatments of the, of the invasives, um, and then uh, see what comes back and then we um, have worked with a lot of uh, um, botanists in the area, ecologists who have given us advice of what should be here, what we would expect to find uh, in a habitat like this. Um, and if it's not here then we, or if it's not here in enough numbers, then we are slowly introducing those species back into this habitat. Um, the idea is we can uh, focus the plantings um, and then allow those plants to get established and we can begin to collect seed and spread those uh, throughout the, the rest of the habitat. The Fish and Wildlife Services Partners for Fish and Wildlife program in North Carolina began working with the Triangle Land Conservancy to provide technical and financial support for restoration at Horton Grove. The purpose of the Partners program is to restore private lands for the benefit of rare species and migratory birds. This native meadow will benefit bird species such as loggerhead shrike, prairie warbler, and grasshopper sparrow, and may provide stopover or wintering habitat for American woodcock. We also expect it to benefit other species of wildlife in the Piedmont. Is Chickasaw Plum. Uh, it's a nice native, and uh, we have a little thicket here. Uh, I've actually had a fella tell me that um, if you want Bob White quail, you need Chickasaw Plum out on the property. Uh, and we have it here, so um, hopefully we will hear and see more quail in the future. I would encourage anyone interested in native grasslands to visit Horton Grove. Private landowners who want to restore native habitats for wildlife on their lands are invited to contact us for assistance. <laughs>